Hi, my name is Peter Venter and I'm on the Geotab development team. Today I'm going to show you how to access your My Geotab information directly from within Google Sheets. Let's get started by creating a copy of the existing Google Sheet. This is the easiest way to get started. On the Help tab, you will see some useful information about the custom functions already defined, such as MG Vehicles, MG Status, and other functions. Let's go take a look under the hood. The script editor gives you access to all the source code. Normally, you will not need to go into this function. However, there is one more step left. Let's set up a trigger that loads the menu whenever the spreadsheet is opened. Please note that this is not needed in the new Google Sheets. Okay, once this is done, let's go back and refresh our spreadsheet. Notice that next to the Help menu, there is a My Geotab menu with a Login option. Login with your normal My Geotab credentials. This will give you access to all the information within My Geotab. We're going to add some functions to help us set up our main spreadsheet. First, we are going to return a list of vehicles. Enter MG Vehicles and it will return a list of all the vehicles in your system. Notice that it returns the vehicle name, serial number and other information. This function also takes other arguments. For example, you can provide a name if you end it with a percentage sign, it will return any name that starts with PV, as can be seen. The second argument, if set to true, returns the column names. Now, let's combine this with the index function, because we're only interested to return the names. Notice that we now have a list of all the names of the vehicles in my Geotab. Next, we're going to set up some helper functions for dates. We're going to define two values, today and yesterday, and we'll use the built-in functions that returns the date and time for today, and we'll add one that so we get the whole date range. And then we'll do the same for yesterday. Great. Now we're going to add another sheet and start building our app. We're going to need a vehicle selection. We can use the validation function within Google Sheets and we are going to refer to the list of vehicles we created on sheet 1 in column A. Notice how we now have a drop-down list of vehicles that a user can select from. Next, we're going to do the same for the date selection. Again, we're going to use the validation function and refer to sheet 1 and this time column B that has our two dates defined. To make the dates work, we are going to use a little bit of VLOOKUP magic. All we're doing is referring to the selection on the left to look up the values next to today and yesterday. As we select today, notice how it picks the correct date. We're doing the same thing for the to date. Great! Now we have a vehicle selection as well as a day selection ready to go. Let's get some data. The MG status function returns the current status of a vehicle. This would include the latitude, longitude, speed at which it's moving, and some other useful information. 
we can use this to render an image of where the vehicle is. Let's do that. The MG map URL returns a URL to a map for the given location. Notice how we've selected the latitude and longitude in the status to give us the location. But what if we want to render this directly within the spreadsheet? You can use the image function for that purpose. Type in image, then use the URL and add comma 3 which basically says don't resize the image but use the full image size. Now we can resize the column and row so that our image fits in. This tile shows us the current location of the vehicle as the MG device status function return. Next we're going to show the recent trip information for the vehicle. Similar to the status information we are going to use a function that returns a URL MG map trip URL. We'll give it the start and end date in other words all trips for yesterday will be rendered. small typo. Let's resize our column and row. The default size is 350 pixels. And there you can see the trip information for the vehicle. We can also add gadgets to the spreadsheet. For example, if I create a label kilometers per hour and reference the speed value from the status, I can use this to add a chart in the Google Sheet. Make the selection and go to the chart option and click insert. You can also customize the speed limit. In this case, I'm going to make the maximum speed for the gauge 150. Let's reposition the gauge next to the rest of our tiles. If you would like to see the address of the vehicle, you can use the MG reverse geocode function. Again, reference the latitude and longitude as the parameter to the function and it will do a reverse geocode. Lastly, we can also return trip information for the vehicle. MG trips will do exactly that. The first argument is the vehicle name, then the from date and the to date. Notice that this vehicle had two trips yesterday. We can now change the date selection and the whole screen would dynamically refresh. It will show us the trips for today as well as the map tile for today. Likewise, we can switch to a different vehicle and the Google Sheet will update dynamically. That concludes my demonstration for today. Hopefully you can get a sense of what is possible through Google Sheets and how you can automate your business and build interesting functionality right from within Google Sheets. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully I've given you some ideas on how you can use the MyGeotab API and Google Sheets in your business.